So, um, I would like to thank all of you who are here uh, for coming to the, um, the third of Biomed Central's Open Access Africa events. Uh, I know many of you have traveled very long distances and overcome um, visa hurdles of all kinds. Um, but also, um, a huge thank you to our speakers uh, who have provided a fascinating mix of perspectives and also stimulated uh, really useful discussion. Um, one of the important topics raised is, of course, the, the, um, the balancing act of how African journals and international journals can best play their respective roles in an increasingly open access world. Um, it's clear that delivering change in this area takes time. Certainly, Biomed Central's experience is that a huge amount of patience and persistent pressure is needed to, um, to make change. There are many different stakeholders involved, funders, publishers, researchers, um, but things are happening. Um, the um, the DFID policy, the World Bank policy, are real indicators of change, and I think it's important to um, to build on that momentum and to use the momentum which is also built up in the North too, uh, with the, uh, the Finch report, as has been mentioned, and the RC UK and Welcome policies. Um, so I think it's really important that this group um, stays in touch, and I think that the um, Open Access Africa Twitter feed is very important. I've also mentioned Biomed Central has an open access in the developing world mini website and absolutely we'd like to hear from you with um, your stories of in case studies of open access and its impact in Africa. Um, in terms of the next Open Access Africa we've been hearing strong uh, encouragement from our Nigerian colleagues that it's overdue to visit a very uh, rapidly growing uh, African economy so uh, that may be on the agenda. Um, but in terms of this year, it just remains for me to say a very huge thank you to everyone at UCT for um, hosting us here. UCT has been a huge supporter of open access, very active in publishing in open access journals. And I think it's certainly the case that the combination of um, uh, the Berlin open access meeting happening in Stellenbosch together with Open Access Africa here at UCT is just has this opportunity to get open access onto the policy radar uh, in South Africa, which is a hugely uh, important uh, step forward. So I hope we can really um, build on this momentum going forwards. And thanks to all of you for joining us here to, to make that happen. Thank you.